It's now my pleasure to welcome Dr. Tony Fauci to present the 2016 Maxwell Finland Award for Scientific Achievement. Thank you very much, Walt. It's a, a great pleasure for me to be here with you this evening and to present the Maxwell Finland Award. The Maxwell Finland Award is an award giving to an individual in the field of infectious diseases who has manifested extraordinary scientific and clinical accomplishments in the field of infectious diseases and in global health. And the characteristics of the individual is one who has made outstanding scientific contributions, one who has made major contributions to the field in training young future leaders in infectious diseases, and in someone who has had an impact on global health. And, and Diane Griffin is that individual who has excelled in each and every one of those. I'll get to that in just a moment, but let me just very briefly tell you a little bit about Maxwell Finland, which I was asked to do by the organizers. Maxwell Finland, a former uh, member of the board of NFID, was really a, an extraordinary force of nature. He was an individual who, who really, in my mind, and I was a very, very young trainee when I met uh, and had the extraordinary privilege of making rounds with Maxwell Finland. Um, he really defined the discipline of infectious diseases. He's established how we train infectious diseases individuals, and he did it at a time when the level of sophistication in the field of infectious diseases was not particularly uh, sophisticated. I also loved making rounds with Maxwell Finland because he's the only person that I've ever been involved with who was actually seven and a half inches shorter than I am. Uh, it's the truth. <laughs> he was a, an extraordinary man. He actually, I was just mentioning to Diane at the table that he lived in the Boston City Hospital. Now, you say that to some people and you say, you're crazy. He actually lived in the hospital. He was a single man. He didn't have a family. And he just came every day and slept in the Boston City Hospital. So he knew the patients better than any intern would know the patients. And anyway, the reason I tell you that story because the spirit of infectious diseases is, is so well uh, personified in Diane Griffin. D Diane is all of the things that this award has been established for. Uh, she's a scientist second to none. She is likely, uh, well, she's, to, in my mind, likely, she is one of the most respected scientists in the field of infectious diseases, certainly in the field of virology. Her extraordinary contributions in understanding the pathogenesis of measles, the encephalitis associated with that, importantly, understanding the interdigitation between the immune system and infections like measles. So as a scientist, if you look at criteria number one, she hits that one out of the park. The idea of training future leaders and having someone who's an inspiration to young scientists, there is no one better than Diane at that for a number of reasons, not only because of the quality of her science, but because of the quality of her character. She cares very much about our field of infectious diseases. She devotes a lot of time and she cares very much about the people who she trains and even people who indirectly come in contact with her. Her impact on global health has been most extraordinary, and she's one of the finest citizens in infectious disease. And what do I mean by citizens? Is her unselfish devotion of time to things that don't give her any particular personal advantage. I can say that myself personally because I call upon her very frequently to help us out at the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases, the most recent of which she served with great distinction as the chair of our Board of Scientific Counselors, one of the most important boards that we have that evaluate the performance of the scientists in our intramural program and advise me about the distribution of resources. And then finally, she is, for those of you who know her and for those of you, unfortunately, who haven't had the privilege of knowing her, 
one of the finest human beings that you could meet. So the idea of combining all of that talent with someone who it's really a pleasure to know, it gives me great pleasure to introduce to you the winner of the 2016 Maxwell Finland Award, Dr. Diane Griffin. <laughs>